Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yak Science here with another OCHEM video. Today we're going to be talking about Friedel-Crafts alkylation, which is a specific type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So in this type of reaction, we're going to be adding an alkyl group onto an aromatic ring like benzene. So today I want to go over the general mechanism of Friedel-Crafts alkylation, how we prepare our strong electrophile, and how we add the alkyl group onto a benzene ring. All right, so in order to make our strong electrophile, we're gonna need two ingredients. We're gonna need an alkyl halide, and we're gonna need our Lewis acid catalyst. ALCl3 is a pretty common one for Friedel-Crafts alkylation. So let's see how this works. We know that the chlorine atoms around the aluminum are more electronegative than the aluminum is. That makes the aluminum atom delta positive or partially positive. All right, so what'll happen next is this chlorine, the chlorine of the alkyl halide, will nucleophilically attack the aluminum. Okay, and once that happens, that'll get us here. Note that the chlorine atom, this chlorine has a positive formal charge, while the aluminum now has a negative formal charge. What happens next is we're gonna see transfer of the electrons in this bond between the R, right, the alkyl group, and the Cl. Those electrons are gonna to go to the chlorine, thus breaking the bond between the alkyl group and the chlorine. All right, so that gets us here. Note that we've formed a carbocation, right, because our R, which is representing an alkyl group, lost the bond, so that's a carbocation. We've also formed AlCl4 uh, with a negative formal charge on the aluminum. So it's really important in Friedel-Crafts alkylation problems to check for rearrangement of the carbocation, right? Can you do any hydride shifts? Can you do any methyl shifts um, to make that carbocation more stable, all right? So I'm using R as a general representation of an alkyl group. So based on your specific problem, make sure to check for rearrangement. So now that we've seen how to make our strong electrophile, which is the carbocation, and after we consider rearrangement based on a specific problem, let's go into how we can get that electrophile onto an aromatic ring, like a benzene ring. All right, so here I've drawn a benzene ring and I've drawn our strong electrophile that we made in the previous step. The first thing that'll happen is the pi electrons in one of the pi bonds of the benzene will nucleophilically attack our carbocation, right? Our strong electrophile. And once that happens, that'll get us here. All right, so notice that now we've formed a carbocation because we've disturbed the aromaticity of the benzene ring. And we have our electrophile, or our R group, right? Our alkyl group on the ring. So the next step has to be to restore that aromaticity, right? Because yes, it's true, this carbocation is resonance stabilized, right? We can draw a couple different resonance forms of this. Nonetheless, it really wants to get its aromaticity back. And that'll happen via some acid-base chemistry. So we know that there are, there are hydrogens on here that we haven't drawn in. So I'm gonna draw in a hydrogen on this carbon, the carbon that got the electrophile added onto it. And so what'll happen is our AlCl4 molecule that we generated in uh, the first step that we talked about where we were making our strong electrophile, that's gonna come back and act as a base. Let's see how that happens. All right, so here I've drawn our AlCl4 molecule. Now what's gonna happen next is we're gonna see one of the chlorines break away from the AlCl4 molecule and those electrons are gonna be used to deprotonate this hydrogen right here, right? To deprotonate. And upon deprotonation, the electrons in that carbon-hydrogen bond will collapse, right? That bond will collapse and go back to reform the pi bond, right? And thus relieve the carbocation, so to speak, right? Re-establish re that aromaticity. So our products are gonna look like this. So here are our products. Note that we now have our R group, our alkyl group, on the benzene ring, we've reestablished aromaticity. And note that we've also regenerated our catalyst, AlCl3, right, because catalysts get regenerated. And we formed some HCl from this deprotonation step right back here. So that's how we get an R group, an alkyl group, onto a benzene ring using Friedel-Crafts alkylation. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.